Hello. Wakefield Cathedral lies at the heart of a city that has a proud history and an exciting future. The Cathedral Spire, which is the tallest in Yorkshire, points heavenwards with a confidence that's born of hope. And it's hope which frames Wakefield Cathedral's new strategic vision. I'll say more about that vision in a moment. But first, let's hear from just a few of the many people who make up the rich community of communities here at the Cathedral. Walking into Wakefield Cathedral, I'm always struck by its majesty and its over 800 year history of being a centre of worship in Wakefield. And oddly enough, I think at this time, it's right that the Cathedral looks forward beyond this pandemic to the next 10 years in how it can develop its role and grow faith in Wakefield. The vision for the Cathedral for 2020 to 2030 is exciting and encouraging in the desire to stay firm in hope. For as St Paul says, hope does not disappoint us. For me, Wakefield Cathedral is a warm and welcoming place that cares deeply about the challenges of its local community and also plays its part as one of the three mother churches of our diocese. It provides one of the richest parts of our architectural heritage. It is probably at the pinnacle of the places to worship locally and it enriches our society and a sense of belonging to our community by providing a place of assured serenity for us to celebrate traditional events that need a suitable presence. I have the privilege and the great pleasure of being a regular visitor to the Cathedral. This is always a joy, not least because of the majesty of the building itself, but also because of the warmth of the welcome that all visitors receive there. I really value the Cathedral because it's our family's church. It's a beautiful and joyful space that we've been able to be there when we've been celebrating family occasions. But it's also a spiritual well that I've felt, felt really able to draw on when the times have been more difficult. When I first came to the cathedral, nearly eight years ago now, I only signed up for two hours a week on a Wednesday as a welcomer. However, encouraged by those around me, I got involved in services and events and to my surprise, found it all interesting and very enjoyable. I even found a service format that I liked. We as a family regard Wakefield Cathedral as our safe place because of our faith and especially because of this year's events with what's happening around the world. As a verger, I get to meet the congregation, the local community and visitors to the cathedral and they all tell me as one, they feel it as a special place of worship and always feel welcome. One of my favourite things about Wakefield Cathedral is how kind and welcoming they are. Having joined in September of 2019, I was welcomed so well and made to feel like I had been there for years. I am privileged to be a part of the Wakefield Cathedral family. As one of the initial cathedrals to admit female troubles, I am humbled to be a part of this community. As a member of the choir of Wakefield Cathedral, I welcome this new and strategic vision and look forward to be able to continue to offer our contribution to the life and worship offered in this place, to the praise and glory of God. Uh, a little message here from lockdown as the cathedral launches its new vision. Um, something that we are looking very much forward to in the cathedral kitchen as it um, go very much hand in hand with what we love doing, uh, which is welcoming people into Tracy Hall from all different places in geographically and in life in a warm, um, inclusive way and we can't wait to do that again. Hi I'm Amy, I coordinate at Walt Wakefield at the Art House and I'm really lucky to have worked with Wakefield Cathedral a number of times over the last few years to put on exhibitions and events and performances in the incredible cathedral space. Um, it gives artists, especially local artists, a really amazing opportunity to showcase their work and I'm really excited to work with Cathedral in the future to bring even more art and culture to the city centre. 
I will do everything I can to support the goals and the objectives in this vision. I really value the cathedral because, like God, it's always there for me. Quite simply, it underlines that Wakefield wouldn't be the same without it. Very much excited for this and um, we hopefully see you soon again. Take care, keep smiling. Wakefield Cathedral's new strategic vision, Firm in Hope, is rooted in a vision of the cathedral as a place that is safe and welcoming, a place that is life-giving, and a place that is inspiring. And it's informed by our values of joyfulness, generosity, and inclusiveness. The vision has four key objectives. Building up the body of Christ here, being a partner in God's mission, maximizing our many assets in support of that mission, and being a cathedral for the whole diocese. Each of these objectives will have challenging targets, which, though flexible, will be robust. And I look forward over the coming years to working with all of you as together we move forward firm in the hope that God has set before us. May God prosper us in our work and may God bless all of you as we work together. Thank you.